so we're starting um, section 3.10 example 9a um, the question is asking uh, water is being uh, pumped into um, and pumped at a rate of 15 feet cubic feet per minute into a conical reservoir uh, 10 feet deep with a top radius of 5 feet how fast is the water level rising when the water is six feet deep? Um, so as water comes in, uh, at the moment, I know the height of the water is four, but I know that height is changing. But as height is, cha is changing, so is this little r over here. But that this looks awfully like uh, the triangle thing that we, uh, the triangle similarity that we discussed before. Uh, there's a right angle here, right angle here, and these two triangles are sharing one other angle also. So I can write it a little straighter. This is um, constant 10 feet. This one is the constant 5 feet. And I have an edge over here that is changing. And R over here that is changing. And so since the two triangles are um, similar, um, H over R is equal to 10 over 5. And, um, and that gives me H is equal to 2 times R. So the next part of the question is, um, that, so that I found the relationship between H and um, R. But I think that is not enough. Uh, the question is asking to relate volume to height of the water. And what I found is the relationship between H and R. Uh, let's see how we can uh, relate the volume to uh, the height. Volume of the cone is uh, pi third of R squared H. Okay. Um, and so if I'm looking at this formula, R and H are changing and V is changing. Uh, the question is asking me to, or asking us, to um, uh, basically find the rate of change, dH dt, and it's giving me dV dt. How do I know cubic feet per minute is change in volume? In minutes, so I have dv dt, and it's increasing by 15 cubic feet per minute. Um, now, uh, knowing this, if I take the uh, implicit differentiation here, I will end up with the uh, implicit differentiation. Um, for H and I end up with implicit differentiation uh, for R and and so I have to know both rates uh, or and then that's that's how it goes um, there are two methods of solving this one way is to you know that you're looking for uh, the change in H so you replace R by h somehow and in here it would be r is equal to h half so you get v is equal to pi third h half to power 2 h which is going to be pi and this one is going to be fourth so pi 12 of h to power 3 and you take the derivative and that would give you dv dt is equal to pi over 12 is the co uh, coefficient 3h squared times <clears throat> dh 
DT. Mm. Which is going to be um, basically uh, 3 and 12 simplify a little bit. Pi h squared over 4 of dh dt. Now here I can plug in um, values and, and calculate dh dt for dv dt I have 15 and for h squared I have uh, for h I have um, h is uh, 4 so the h squared is 16 and when you simplify you get 4 on this 4 pi on this side and so 15 divided by 4 pi is the edge dt is 15 over 4 pi and and then you calculate it and that would be um, basically feet per Part B of the same question is asking water is being pumped at the rate of 15 cubic feet uh, per minute into a leaky conical reservoir 10 feet deep with a top radius of uh, 5 feet. Suppose that the water level is only rising at 1 feet per minute when uh, the water is 4 feet deep. How fast is the water? Uh, leaking out of the reservoir. Um, so there is a little bit of difference here. Before, just water was coming in. Now water is going out. I know how much water coming in, but I just have to figure out how much water is going out. And, um, and so I measured the change in height of the water to figure out how much uh, leak I'm getting. Um, so the, again, back into the formula that we figured out before, uh, dv dt is pi h squared over 4 of dh dt. Um, and so we use this formula and uh, by plugging in dh dt, dh dt is this time given. Um, so dh dt is given to me. And you can see the water is, is increasing, um, is rising at one feet, but uh, apparently there is a leak, so it, it should be rising a little bit more, and it's not. Um, and so uh, what I knew is that the change in the volume, uh, the rate of change in the volume, is the uh, what is being pumped in minus the leak rate. The leakage rate, and so I figure out um, the dv dt using the formula, and that gives me uh, basically the leakage uh, is going to be equal to the pump rate minus the change in the volume, and that's the value that I get.